What's up, guys? It's Lou from Unbox Therapy, and today we're taking a look at a capture device from Blackmagic Design. This is the Intensity Shuttle. This is the Thunderbolt version as well, but it does come in a USB 3 version if you don't have a Thunderbolt port. I will link both down in the description. Make sure you're clicking on the right one, depending on which port you have. Other than that, they're pretty much identical. Both very fast interfaces, of course. Thunderbolt, super quick, and USB 3, super quick as well. So this is pretty much as high a quality as you can get for HD recording out of a portable capture device. It does 10-bit HD for incredible quality, and that's going to give you the ability to record anything from your games console to a set-top box to a video camera. Say you want to output the HDMI video from your camera rather than recording to, say, an SD card, you can go straight into your hard drive and use this to make the recording. Something that's important here that a lot of people don't know is that your video camera often compresses your video content because it doesn't have the buffer necessary to deal with super mega files. If you use the HDMI uncompressed output on your video camera though and then use your computer to record the video, you can actually sometimes achieve higher qualities using a device like this. Anyways, that sounds really technical. Let's talk about the unboxing. On the inside, you have a little bit of paperwork as well as an installation disc. Other than that, you have the device after that. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be interested in buying a device like this for gameplay capture and that is a very popular function for this particular device. Reason being because this has all the inputs and outputs you could possibly want for a gaming console. Unlike some other devices on the market, this one has everything right on the box. No breakout cables. You've got HDMI, you've got component input, S-Video, and you've also got the old school composite video too. On the top side of the device is where your Thunderbolt port is. Of course, if you've got the USB version, that port will be there. But you've also got outputs too. So inputs and outputs for every single type of interface. So regardless of what console you're trying to record and which display you're trying to output to while you're playing, this is definitely going to support unless you have some super old school like coax tv i hope you're not using one of those if you are using super old school tv like that without even composite video inputs let me know down in the comments i don't believe you anyways so yes this is a, a very high quality capture device for anybody looking to record high quality video whether that's from a games console or otherwise it will interface with pretty much all of the popular software that's out there so everything from final cut to adobe premiere pretty much if you can download it and cut video with it, the video that you're going to take out of this device will likely interface just fine, and it'll also support all of the mainstream live streaming, mainstream live streaming software out there if you want to live stream gameplay too. So a very popular choice right here, and pretty much the highest quality you can get in a portable game capture device. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next video. And remember, if you're interested in more information, pricing, and availability, the links are down in the description. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Later.